sometimes when the peanut gallery enters a fan base, it does dilute the, the series. It does. <laughs> you know, call me nuts, but using the word franchise to me makes me nervous and worried because I feel like it, it carries unintentional spiritual influence onto series. Because these days, and I'm sick and tired of this, these fucking companies keep trying to make the new series of whatever it is, whether it's a movie or, or a show or whatever, and they keep trying to make it appeal to every, to the broadest audience. No! You, if you have a niche fan base that you have, be proud of it and own it. And enjoy the fact that you have a niche fan base. Not everyone needs to be into it. Stop changing these series and trying to make them appeal to every group of people, every walk of life. Disney is the is the biggest company that's guilty of this. They have, this is how they they ruin the the sequel trilogy. They try to make it appeal to every race, every uh, every creed, every background, like everything. And look. If you create a series and you think it's just only certain people are going to be into it and you find out later on that, oh, it does appeal to a broad group of people, that's fantastic. And that, that's great if it, when it does that, but you're not supposed to create it for the purpose of just having everyone far... Because you're, what you're doing is you're watering the series. You're not making it special. Now you're making it like every other series. I've soiled the good Krusty Krab name! Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! And that's... Those kind of influences and ideas come from people and companies using the word franchise over and over again. Franchise, franchise, franchise. No! Series! It's a series. And it's cool if only certain people are into it. It doesn't mean that they're haters of other people. It, it doesn't mean that they, uh, they despise other people. Because sometimes when the peanut gallery enters a fan base, it does dilute the, the series. It does. It changes it. And it makes it shitty. It's happened time and time again. And it pisses me off. Like Sonic, for example. Sonic used to be all about being edgy and cool. And it, that, that's what Sonic was all about. And ever since the 2010s happened, the Sonic series... They kept trying to make it like Mario. Kept trying to make it like Mario. They keep making changes in the Sonic series to make it appeal to everybody. And it doesn't need appeal to everybody. It's, it's a niche fan base. It was Sonic the Sonic series. It was always a niche fan base. Only certain people liked Sonic. But back in the day, everyone liked Mario. Now, whether Mario was intended for everyone to, ha to be have appeal to it is an, an interesting idea. But... It's like, regardless, it's just like, you don't sacrifice your series for money. You do what's right for the series. You don't do what's right for the franchise. It's not all about money. It's about the integrity of what your series is and what your, the message is of the series and the characters in the world and your imagination. It's not about, uh, you know, all about the cash and oh, we need to make these changes because this and that. And it's like... Uh, those changes are done for money. And it's not, it's not, you're not supposed to sacrifice your series. If you have people around that love it and truly love it and truly know what the series needs, whether it's uh, the Sonic series, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Star Trek, whatever, you don't ignore the fans that built it up when it was initially a niche a group of people. You don't ignore them. They built this thing, they built the empire. You don't dis that's disrespecting the fans. And that's a shitty thing to do. That's bullshit. Super Nice.